Welcome back, friends, to the Bean Museum. This video is for our organism of the month, which means you can have a turtly awesome time helping us celebrate an animal that we think is really cool, the red-eared slider. Like most every other turtle, these guys have four legs in a shell that is divided into a top half called a carapace and a bottom half called a plastron. And these actually form part of its skeleton and are covered in special scales called scutes. It's cute, right? Red-eared sliders get their name from two things, the rebellious streak they've got going down the side of their face where their ears would be if they had them, and also from their tendency to slide off their perches on logs or rocks or whatever into the water if anything happens to sturtle them. At least, those are the characteristics that the common name comes from. The scientific name Trachemus scripta elegans is both more and less flattering. So Trachemus comes from the Greek words for turtle and rough, while scripta elegans comes from the Latin words for elegant writing. So apparently the Greeks thought that these guys were a little bit rough around the edges, while the Romans thought that these guys were something the worth writing home about. And I think I'm going to slide with the Romans on this one. Red ear sliders may not be quite as snappy as their larger cousins, but they are still the bad boys of the turtle world. They are potentially the only non-endangered reptile species that has been banned in three continents. Yeah, you read that right. Three continents, not countries. Their import, sale, keep, and release are all banned in Australia. The European Union has completely banned their import. Buying and selling them are both illegal in South Africa, and Japan is currently working on banning the import of them. Now, these turtles haven't been caught red-eared committing any horrific crimes. Their only crime is that they can't keep themselves from getting dumped. A turtle eclipse of the heart, you might say. You see, turtles became popular pets in America in the 1950s and then again worldwide in the 80s and 90s when a certain group of copyrighted turtles of the ninja variety became very prolific, receiving movies, TV shows, action figures, and a lot more. However, real turtles happen to be a lot more responsibility and a lot less action-oriented. One of their special skills actually involves them doing basically nothing for months at a time. It's called brumation, and wild turtles will use this skill to survive the winter by burying themselves in mud or loose dirt, and then going basically completely inactive for the months of October to March, occasionally April. So, while they're brumating, they can withstand low temperatures and also low oxygen levels, which is a super useful superpower in the wild, but not super interesting visual for any child that is staring at a tank. Red-eared sliders can also live for over 30 years, so a lot of wannabe turtle owners will make the not so excellent decision to dump their turtle into the wild once they realize that they don't want to take care of it anymore. Red-eared sliders are native to the Midwest, where they live happy, non-problematic lives, munching on plants, insects, and small animals, but they can leave other ecosystems shell-shocked if they are introduced there. You see, they grow quickly, have babies early, grow to be about the size of a dinner plate, and can carry diseases like salmonella. So pro tip, if you are a human, do not ever put a turtle in your mouth. It is not a great idea. So red-eared sliders can outcompete native turtle or chomp their way through other local species, causing them to decline and causing other problems to escalate. These guys are actually the number one most invasive turtle species in the world, which is not a trophy that you want to win. But it's not the red-eared sliders' fault because most of the time they are not the ones choosing to put themselves in those environments. So if you want to get a turtle pet, make sure you do your research and know what you're getting yourself into before you scoot your way on over to the pet store. All right? Okay, that's it for this month. Thank you very much for watching. If you find somebody in a green shirt like mine, tell them something cool that you learned from this video and they might just slide you a bio card. And if you think that red just isn't the turtle's color, then you can print off our coloring page from the website and make it better. And if you enter that coloring page into our monthly coloring contest, you might just win a prize. But the real prize is the friends that we make along the way. So I hope to see you again next month in July with that organism of the month. See you then.